It's time for Show Car Garage. Tips on detailing your car to bring out the beauty that will make it show worthy. Brought to you by AutoGeek.net. We are Car Care. I'd like to introduce this week's guest, Eric Dunn from Lake Country Manufacturing. Hey Mike, how you doing today? Good, welcome. Now, Lake Country makes a zillion different types of foam buffing pads for machine buffing paint, but this week you're going to share with us the compressor pad. Yeah, the compressor pad, what it is, it's a foam pad, and if you look at it from the side, it's actually cut on a radius. I see that. So what'll happen is when you put it on your backing plate, it'll flatten out. Okay. Now there's also fingers put into this pad. So the pad runs very cool. I see. Fingers? You mean when I pull this apart, you're talking about these tabs there? Right. The way it slices them. So it's not just like a flat pad like everybody else uses. This has actually got some cuts all the way across it here. Correct. So what that does is it lets the pad run cool. You have nine times more surface coverage of the foam because you're not just using the top of the pad. You're using both sides of all the sides of the fingers. What other benefits does a pad like this give you? Well, when you put it on a backing plate and you flatten it out, the center of the pad becomes very tight. Mm -hmm. So that prevents polish from soaking in there because you're oh. taking the foam and you're kind of compressing it together. So it won't get so saturated. Correct. Okay, that's a benefit. And also with the fingers, it prevents less sling. So when you put your pad on your vehicle, it doesn't throw the... So it's not gonna do what I usually do, it's just throw product everywhere. Right. Okay, good, I, I could use this pad. <laughs> it also, what's also nice about the fingers is it, it's very user friendly, uh, doesn't produce a lot of heat and it conforms to a lot of different, let's call them variations on a body panel. Sure. Well, um, having a pad that'll conform to either a concave or convex a curve is very important because a lot of modern cars, even classic cars, have a lot of curves to them. Correct. Now, could you use these with any kind of tool? You can use these on any kind of tool as long as the backing plate is sized up for the back of the pad. Sure, match the backing plate to the size of the pad. Correct, and I just want to show you something, Mike. Let me grab this piece of glass right here. Okay. If I hold up this glass. Yeah, have me push this on there? Yeah, then you can see how the fingers are actually turning. Wow, and look at that. It offers a lot of flexibility. There you go, very user friendly. It's right. Like, can I give this a try on that car over there? Sure, not a problem at all. Well, I've placed this gray polishing pad on here. And if you look at the scoop on the 65 GTO, notice the curve there? Yeah, there's a nice radius that goes up and then across. So the let top. me just experiment right there with that. It makes it real easy to get in here and buff that curve. Okay. Well, thanks for coming by, Eric. Thanks a lot, Mike. I appreciate it. And that's it for this week's Tips and Techniques at Show Car Garage.